Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah, and it's that time of year again. Time to get a new planner. I actually, I have two. Uh, I am going to link these in the description box below. I did get them from Amazon. I'm working on getting an Amazon store. These will probably not be in my Amazon store yet, but as soon as they do, I will definitely update. And which is actually kind of a moot point because tomorrow is the 1st of July, which is when both of these start start working. But isn't that cute? I got this literally, it was $4.99. It was the greatest thing. And I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be bigger. And when I got it, I was kind of disappointed. But I decided that I will use this as my health check planner. Instead of getting, you know, buying one that's specifically for that, I'm just going to do simple because I just, I just don't keep track and I should, but I'm going to do simple keeping track of my health. And then this one, which I think was 20, I'll, I'll I think it was 32 at, with, um, everything shipping and all of that uh, like I said I will put these in the description box below but this is my big planner for everything else because this one was a tad too small I needed it bigger so this one is strictly for my health and this one is for everything else and they are both 2024 2025 planners I got this one first so I wanted this one to match which they kind of do. They both have like a night sky. And let me get into this one first. It is really simple. It's so pretty. I don't remember. Let me see. It's by Pinchoro. I don't know. Can you see that? It's barely legible. Let me see if no, alright that is my only reference I think it's Pinchoro P-I-N-C-H-O-R-O but like I said it'll all be in the description box below but this is your inner sleeve 2024-2025 weekly planner weekly and monthly planner, July to June. And then this has, this is your quick references, which I've already started filling out. And so I've put my name, my phone number, emergency contacts, as in my husband and my son, my doctor, the police department here, and the fire department here. And so that's all I put for that. Let me see, does it have, okay. It does have a yearly overview for both 2024 and 2025. And then of course it has holidays listed. I'm not gonna get into that. All calendars pretty much do. Uh, this is a contacts list. I've put my doctor's, address and phone number and my pharmacy's address and phone number figured being that this one is for my health that would be the best thing to put there and then here is your monthly and what I'm going to be doing which you already see right here uh, what I'm going to be doing at least on the daily is posting my fasting uh, sugar, my glucose meter, my fasting blood sugar. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. And I've already done for, cause I started using this, uh, magnesium oil on my feet that's supposed to balance out my insulin and cortisol levels. So I have those for, cause I did it started on the 28th 
and so I did a reading for the 29th and today so after that I'm gonna start putting them all in uh, so that I can read it really you know have a quick look and see what's going on and then as far as weekly Here you go, here's your weekly pages. And there's enough to write. And what I'm simply going to be writing on this calendar will be my first breakfast, basically, even though it probably won't be at breakfast time. So my first meal of the day, what it is, when I had it, and just document all of my meals and then if I have any symptoms say vertigo or um, digestive issues or anything like that I'll put that here per on each day uh, I think I might also put when I go on a walk so like I've been doing hello from the pond pretty much every day for about a month now I don't necessarily walk there every time for circumstances but uh, I will definitely put I'll probably put hello from the pond walk to signify that I've walked and then that's pretty much it as far as this calendar goes that's all it gives is the month and then the week and then it has a pocket Like literally, here's the last week of um, June and July 2025. And then the last page is like a notebook page. But I mean, that's it. That's all the notes you get. And it has this pocket back here, which reads, today is a new beginning. And I ha right now I have my manual for my um, glucose meter and I don't know what else I would put in there but yeah so that's pretty much it for this planner I will be utilizing it to keep track I might even put like uh, weigh-ins because I really do need to get myself back on track and Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this one. It's simple. It was $4.99 and then shipping. I don't remember how much everything was. Um, I don't know if it's still $4.99 because I do believe it was on sale. So there's that. But I just, that's why I bought it was because I loved the, the cover and I thought it was going to be bigger. That's it. But I should have known better considering it was only $4.99. <laughs> so my other one, which is going to be for my like every day, my what's going on in my life, my family's life, like doctor's appointments and although for me, my doctor's appointments will go in this one. But like my mom mom in laws, mommy in laws her doctor's appointments, my husband's doctor's appointments, they will all go in here, and plus various other, you know, things, like stuff that we're planning, and this one is actually a vision planner, which is really cool. I do, I, I love, I don't know if you can tell, but that's gold foiling, and it's so pretty. I just love it, and this is by Bloom, and says right there it's by bloom and I really love these calendars I have one for this year that ends today but I don't know where I put it I need to find it so I can put in birthdays and anniversaries and stuff but anyways as you can see I already put my name it it just says bloom 20 July 2024 to July 2025 and then name phone email I didn't put phone or email I can but I just won't right now uh, and then it says how will you bloom create a mission statement for your ideal year uh, 
and then it gives you a place to write. And then my word of the year. So I need to figure out what my word of the year is. We sh let me know what what would you put as your word of the year? Growth maybe. Um tranquility, serenity, excitement. I don't know. What would your word of the day be? Word of the day, word of the year. And then it has this page right here that says ready, set, go. And if you want, you can uh, take a screenshot and that will take you to linkpop.com backslash bloom and I haven't actually looked at it so I don't know but I'm sure it's just gonna tell you what you know show you different products and whatnot but um, on the first page for you it's asking you to write a letter to yourself I will sit down and I will do this I won't post it but I will do this I, I need to really think about what I want to write to myself, like maybe what my goals might be, what my vision, because it is a, a vision planning uh, calendar. And then, let's see, I'm not going to go through each and every page, but I do just want to kind of show you the highlights of it. So here, this is, it says, where where you are and where you're going and you get for each month is a box uh, or no not each month never mind this is personal each box has a thing like personal growth is one box relationships and what it wants you to put is there's there's a like from 1 to 10 and what you think how you feel your personal growth is going right now and you circle it and then you write a little thing about it um and you do that for each of the different boxes and then at the end of the year or at the end of this calendar will be another one that you will do and you can compare did you grow <laughs> did things uh change for the better did 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 you slack? I don't know, whatever it may be, but you can compare from right now to now in 2025. And then it has things not to do, and it's just six things that you want to write down. Like, I don't want to, oh, I don't know. Um, I should have thought about this better. I don't think, okay, it says we, we often think in terms of to-do lists, but what about not to-do lists? What can you stop doing to get you closer to your goals, uh, other responsibilities, things you can't control, things, or, yeah, things that drain you, and what's okay to be left undone? So, I don't know, stress, there we go. Obviously, you know, that's, you're going to end up stressing, but that could be one thing that you want to put down on your to-do list. And then on the other side, it has a list, uh, it has values and it has, um, common values with a box. And then you write information down the year of more. So the year of doing this things more and the year of less, so less overeating, less uh, slacking off, less, well not slacking off, less um, getting distracted, more walking, more eating properly, more exercise, whatever it may be. Which I think is pretty cool. It gives you a thing to set and plan and to refer back to. And then you've got random acts of kindness, my joy list, I love myself because I feel best when. The random acts of kindness one is really pretty cool. It's got all these different boxes. Now, excuse me. 
This one is based by month, as you can see that one's August. So in August, it's saying to write a great online review for a business you love. And then it also says put sticky notes with affirmations on public bathroom mirrors. Could you imagine? You know, and that's just August and it's got a different one for each month. So that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm gonna actually do that and I may, you know, like the physical ones, I will try to take a little short video. Now I don't know that I would be able to do a video of the one in the bathroom, but <laughs> if I can, I, w I might do some shorts and put it as bloom calendar, random act of kindness. I don't know. Anyway, so let's go on. This. There's a lot to this calendar. Uh, there's plan to bloom, this year's visions, and you write down everything that you want to do. Then it has my ideal week, morning routine, evening routine, weekend routine, Monday through Sunday, and then a weekly uh, scheduling template. I mean, these are just super cool. I absolutely love them. There's even a budgeting that's the next page. Monthly spending summary. Monthly bill payment tracker. Then there's a habit tracking. Monthly tasks and, and notes. And then each month we'll have visions. So this is July's visions. And it does the personal growth, relationships, health and fitness. That's all the boxes from the beginning. And then uh, number one goal. I am committing to making happen this month and you can write it there and then this this is the actions action steps so you've got three steps to take action on create completing that goal and then each month has a, a little affirmation if you will uh, this one says all I need is within me all I need is within me and that is so true because we forget sometimes that we have whatever it is that we need to get through whatever it is that's coming at us. And then of course, you have your monthly, uh, your monthly look and it has notes right here. And then for your weekly, this one is a little different. So it's got notes right here and then this is your daily for the week so like this is Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday and it has a, a ha healthy habits tracker um, but yeah it just has little spaces for keeping track of what you're doing during the day like your Whatever your schedule may be, if you have a doctor's appointment or if you're going somewhere and you just want to write that down, then I think it might have, okay, no, it doesn't. It does that for the whole month and then it goes into the next month. And for August, it says choose purpose over perfect. Isn't that cool? So it does that throughout the whole year. And then at the end of the year, we get, let me get there. Okay. There is a monthly highlights page. And you can write down highlights from the month. And obviously it goes through each month. Like this is for August, September, October, November, so on and so forth. And then important dates for next year so that you can remember to write, write whatever it is for the next, the following year. And then also at the end, I believe this is it. Oh, no, there's another page. Okay. Um, here's a year of growth and you can rewrite what you did 
from the beginning and see how different it is. Another important date for next year. Actually, I think this page, I got an extra page because it's the same thing. So I got a, an extra page, so it's important dates and then a year, a year of growth. And then of course, which I very rarely use these, so I could do without them, but it gives you stickers. Can you, can you focus? Anyways, these stickers have like, um, grocery bill or groceries, like a little shopping bag with groceries. That would be for like payday. Uh, there's cakes for like birthdays and there's some, um, cute little affirmations. Then there's these ones that are like, uh, tagging. So it's like urgent or don't forget important to do deadline. So, I mean, it, it's just got cute and it's only the one sheet. And then the little circle ones are like, they're a heart, star, explanation point, and check mark over and over and over again. So I rarely use these. I might put them down, but you know, I have too many birthdays. And so I end up not having enough of these. But anyways, have I thought about what my... word of the year is. I don't know. I need to create my mission statement for the year, write myself a letter. I don't know. I just really like these and I get, I get distracted and I forget to write in them. So I really, I'm, my one goal is consistency. There we go. I need to know how to spell it first, but <laughs> That is my word of the year. I'm going to write consistency because I need to be consistent on my calendars. I need to be consistent here on YouTube or anything else. I need to be consistent with how I eat and exercise and all of that. So this year is the year of consistency. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna write that down and then, uh, yeah, I will tomorrow I think I will write to my mission statement and I will write myself the letter and then start working on the other things that are in here so that I will be able to look back at them throughout the year. But I'm excited. Are you excited for, I know it's not the new year, but as far as the planner goes, it's the new year. Are you excited? I'm looking forward to good things coming. And I match. I didn't plan that. I really didn't. <laughs> Color-wise. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider clicking the like button. And if you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click all on the notif notification bell. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And... I hope you have a really great day. I'm looking forward to all the new things that are coming about in this planning year. And I'm excited. There's, I've, I've already got stuff planned. I just don't want to say it yet. Uh, but that's actually in, well, let's see, three months, three months. So you'll know within the next three months, what we're going to be doing. And it's going to be exciting. I'm excited and I can't wait for it. But with that, remember, gravity works, guys.